Okay, so this game contains flashing lights that may trigger seizures for people with photosensitive, photosensitive epilepsy. It's also a work of fiction and is not intended for entertainment purposes. No entertainment here. No, it is. This looks very entertaining. I've been keeping an eye on this game a little bit, and it was recommended a bunch. And now it's out. We'll just do campaign. So, why am I streaming this on a Sunday? Well, to test it out, it also has a Sunday stream kind of feel to it, and I just did a fuckload of Sunday stream quality games in a row the past couple days, so I figured I would end my Sunday stream with something actually, like, potentially really good. So... I already enjoy the way this game looks. And, uh... I need to lower the mouse sensitivity a bit. First person shooters have done this to me, chat. You need them them low mouse sensitivity to get them accurate shots. Okay, so we can open this gate. All right. That is cool. That is very cool. I don't even really want to play the rest of the game. I'm, I'm fine with just this. So here, we're going to get inside here. Apparently, this is what I have to do next, right? So, all right, I'm in. Fire extinguisher. Huh. It's fuzzy. Ha! <laughs> Cotton dispenser. Yeah, pretty much. Hammer. And... Replace the fuse, and turn on the power. Strong TV. I'm going to increase the field of view a little bit. Get it to like a hundred. Ninety-nine. Last one FOV. Master F O V. Alright, we can't get to 100, so 102 will do just fine. Disable depth of field, please. Let's see how bad it gets. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I can see why. Sure. That's good. Just destroying trees with sledgehammers. That that's a hobby. I like that hobby. Use tool. Oh, okay. I did it, I used the tool, but now what? Oh, now I open. Open. Open door. Okay, good. Go inside and check messages. This is my HQ. Which means it probably would be a bad idea to destroy this, so... Maybe I shouldn't. But I can't help it! Alright, let's check... ...the messages... ...from Tracy. Gas bill. 
Gas bill just dropped on the floor. Honestly, I'm not sure we can make it through the month. Are you getting any requests? At this point, we pretty much have to accept anything. Be creative. Hugs, mom. This just came in. It's a kind of fishy, but we need the money. You up for it? Good evening. My name is Gordon Wu, general manager at Eventide's Mall. I have a slight problem with an old building that's blocking our plans for a new wing, and I need someone to go knock it over. I need it gone by tomorrow. I'd even be willing to pay more than the standard rate for some extra discretion. Quick execution and uncomfortable working hours. <laughs> Would you be able to take care of it? Yep. Sure. Or it's Evertide's Mall. Not even tied. Upscale shopping center by the waterfront managed by Gordon Wu. Also in the area is Lakel Municipal Folk Museum. Sure. Yeah, I can do some demolish. One of my favorite games on the N64 was um, Blast Core. And that was a lot of demolish. It wasn't quite this level of destruction, but it was certainly fun. Nice. Sledgehammer's not really working. Is that a fucking stove? Maybe we can use one of these. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about, chat. That's what I'm talking about. That is the good shit, chat. There's a fire. Use your extinguisher to put out fires. Do I... do I need to? If you let the fire spread, it can burn down the whole house, and it looks amazing. Oh, I thought you were going to say, and you fail the mission that way. Because... You know, maybe I'm only supposed to destroy... Oh, I see. I see how it's determining score. That makes sense. The chimney has to go. But in order to do that, we can destroy more of the things. Very good. It just becomes, yeah, crumbs. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Get to the escape vehicle. Well, what if I want to destroy more stuff? I love the physics in this game. I like that the grass is also destructible in the same way other things are. On. This tree needs to go. Do you remember that shooter that was like this? What was it called? The Ace of Spades? It wasn't as detailed with the destruction as this, but like you could dig holes and like get to enemy bases. Mission time three minutes, 46 seconds. 
There's also a red faction, sure. Why does that sound so familiar? Like that specific alarm sound. Is that another game? Just classic alarm sound, yeah. Cultural heritage site destroyed. <laughs> According to the police, the perpetrators did a quick job on the old building. An investigation has been opened. <laughs> Lee Chemicals is moving parts of their operation to the West Point Marina. This opens up opportunities in new business areas where we together with our partners can disrupt the market through long-term strategic... Oh, God. Just the words alone were enough to, like, make my brain just, like, rot. Uh, what a morning. Shouldn't have taken that job. I knew something wasn't right. That building was under cultural heritage protection, and the demolition is now part of criminal investigation. Miss Turdeman at the police just sent me this photo. They must have caught you on a traffic camera headed toward the mall. Very last thing we need right now is an investigation. I tried sweet-talking her, and she thought she could get the case dropped, but asked for a favor in return. I don't know what she wants, but just do it. She'll email you directly. Just so you know, I don't usually do this, but I'm stuck on a case. I feel like I should try something new. I've been investigating Lawrence Lee Jr. over tax evasion for months now. But he has so many friends in town that I can't get a warrant. How about you use your skills to borrow the computers over at Lee Chemicals so that I can finally access his customer registry and sort this mess out. If you do this for me, I'll make sure your little blunder will be forgotten. Yeah, sure. I'm down. I want to do the mission. I like missions. I like, uh, I like destroying buildings. <laughs> we got any computers in here? No. Oh, I see. I see. I like how my vehicle loses pixels as time goes by, too. How come I can't get coffee max times 200? Let's take some of that. That's fine. Oh, dumbass. There's got to be more valuables I can pick up. There we go. Fifty Shades of Capitalism by Kirsten Strabeck. Strabeck? chat. It's subtle. Subtle. 
Just like, you know what? It's as subtle as me driving this Jeep. This truck into buildings to get the computers. But that's what I'm here to do. It's not, I don't know why I called it a Jeep. I don't know. Definitely not what that is. Probably was also valuable, but oh well. The, the thing, the message didn't pop up quick enough, chat. I'm going above and beyond. Oh man, you also have health in this. Nice. Mission accomplished. Electric screwdriver worth 120. I'm just having so much fun. Maybe I'll just keep doing this mission. Oh, I probably don't want to do that anymore. All right, let's get out of here. Unless there's something valuable here. fire spreads. Spread. Yeah! <laughs> fire! <laughs> Damn it. Alright. Yeah, 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 fire! Fire! Buildings, buildings set on fire! I want to see the fire. No, a good chunk of this building is made out of brick, so it's probably not going to go... Cr oh, never mind. Is this a backhoe? This game is amazing. Eat shit, Lee. Six minutes mission time. I wish the real world was voxels. <laughs> Lee Chemicals perpetrator caused property damage and managed to get away with electronic equipment. Someone said it's called Atoms, but Atoms are smaller than Voxel. CEO Lawrence Lee Jr. says they will upgrade security system and should be up and running again soon. Customer registry indicates that Lee has worked almost exclusively with a single client recently. Client is only referred to as BT. No further details. So I really have to bother you with one more favor. Head back to Lee Chemicals and fetch their employee login devices. Should be able to cross-reference their log. 
files with the delivery schedule to figure out where they're moving the product and what BT means. I heard they're installed. They installed a new security system. Be careful. BT, was that in Death Stranding? Apparently it was in a lot of games. Of course, it's only chat. Chat only needs two letters to get to CBT. Um, in this case, BT represents what happened in AI Dungeon to Satan not that long ago. Security. Wired alarm boxes. Breaking an alarm box or wire triggers the alarm. Okay, so now we have to figure out how to get over here without activating the alarm. Easy. Up here. Over here and over here. They rebuilt quick. The Titan in Titanfall was called BT. Titanfall 2? It's been a while since I played that, but... That was your, like, Titan buddy, right? So there's a thing up here. Use quick save before triggering the, the alarm to avoid starting over from scat scratch. From scatch. Chat, what do I do? Should I destroy the alarm or the, the, the wire? Make a map plan. Okay. Map plan made. Can jump up high and oh, okay, maybe not. Huge waste of time. Huge waste of time. Okay, so that was the that was a bungle. Okay, so we're gonna go that way. We're gonna go through here again on the roof, and then we're gonna go on the pipe. All right. Let's make the jump this time, yes. Oh, good. That's, that's excellent work. Excellent work. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All I had to do was not blow myself up. Okay, 
this is a tricky jump. Kind of. If I could just go back out that way, that would be easy, but here's a better way. Okay, it's just a little bit of an annoying... This path right here, but I've... Sp this is a good speed run. I'll just leave this trail of piss. They'll never know where I went and how I got out of here. Nice. You reached the new rank. A new tool has been delivered. Blowtorch. So apparently this game uses ray tracing. I mean, I see the light leaking out. Frames get a little crusty when a lot is happening. Path tracing. It does, but not NVIDIA RTX. Okay. The blowtorch can cut through metal. Oh, it does. Yeah, you're right. It's like Goldeneye. Need that RTX 3090. Yeah, if I could find a 3080, I would I would maybe get one, maybe. I don't know. You want me to get a 3090? Sure, I'll just drop a couple G's on that. Can I upgrade my sledgehammer? No. Can I upgrade my spur? No. Can I upgrade the blowtorch? Yes. Going forward, try to use your tools and destruction to create an optimal path between the objectives before you set off the alarm. I will. They turn off the gas. I can't even make a proper coffee anymore. Really need to bring in more clients. I'll reach out to Gordon and see if he has something else. I haven't heard back from the police. This thing's sorted. It's weird that this is kind of the new barn finders. It's way better, but I'm just <laughs> like the way the missions are doled out reminds me a lot of barn finders. Thanks for helping me out with that building. The police was snooping. The police was snooping around a little, but it seems to have cooled off now, and we can finally start construction. I actually have another job for you. See, I brought this yacht. I bought this yacht recently, but it's too large for the marina, and the board says there's no space for new rock. Sorry, Doc. I don't know why I read that as rock. Could you use your demolition skills again and remove one of the timeshare cabins? If the original documentation also disappeared, then ta-da, like it was never there. So I was in VR uh, a lot last night after the stream, and even during the stream for the Half-Life Alex thing, and I was dreaming in VR. What I mean by that is, if you've ever seen the movie Being John Malkovich, there's a filter on their vision when they become John Malkovich. My dreams were like that. Like, I was viewing my dreams through, like, a, a visor. It was so fucking weird. I was, like, walking through, like, really weird... Um, like, scummy caverns. I didn't sleep particularly well because of that. Also, in regards to the most recent Mandalorian episode, without spoiling anything, why do people still live on Tatooine when they have spaceships?
They're poor? Okay, fair, but, like... Couldn't they be poor on a planet? Like, I feel like Tatooine is just, like, oppressive. There's gotta be another planet they can make a settlement on where they don't have to literally fucking squeeze, like, moisture out of a rock. Like, maybe a planet with trees? Yeah, I guess so. I, I, I understand what you're saying, chat. I understand what you're saying. Fair. I just figured Star Wars has miracles. You know, lasers, spaceships. Escape vehicle. There's the, um... That, and then there's the secondary target. Here's the... So we'll, we'll do the first target. The mineral wealth is probably worth the stay. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure Wikipedia has a huge article about this somewhere, but... <laughs> I guess it's just weird to me that they have, like, you know, some of these people on Tatooine have spaceships, they could leave the planet. But they, they stay there in, mo in like, moisture farm. But hey, fair enough. No fuel. Okay! See, now chat is my Wikipedia, so you're explaining things to me in a much more clear understanding. I guess it's not like Star Trek, where they literally have replicators that can make free food and free, like, materials. Dump this in the ocean. Then there's a fire alarm on this map. Um, fuck. Too late. Okay, so that's good to know. Vinny, now the real question is, how did Jawas get to so many other planets? You know, it's- at the end of the day, we're trying to explain... ...what ultimately was not designed, necessarily, for deep thinking. George Lucas probably could give two fucks. Other people care! But the original intent was like, yeah, whatever. Or whatever, there's like a giant dog man that flies with Han Solo. George, is his name Han or Han? I don't- I don't give a fuck. Doesn't matter. Yeah, he's like a used car salesman. Like a slimy used car salesman alien. Will it sell toys? Well, of course it'll sell toys, yeah. They didn't know. They didn't know it was going to sell toys, the original Star Wars movie. There was no indication that that was going to become what it became. But Lucas was smart enough still to think to himself, well, 
Uh, I want to get the rights to all the merchandise, just in case. And then... It became a huge hit, and then George Lucas had the merchandise rights. And then everyone wanted toys. So I guess it kind of did work out. I just don't think he predicted it would. Vinny, I never understood George Lucas references after watching one interview, you're 100% spot on. No, I'm far from 100% spot on. <laughs> I do an impression of Rich Evans doing an impression of George Lucas, at best. I feel really secure with the salad. Cool gate. I'm- I'm kind of stuck. I'm kind of stuck here now. Like, my wheel is just caught. Oh well. Piece of shit. Gotta make these buildings a little bit more secure. This also goes in the ocean? Okay. If only I had a forklift. Maybe I can use the office chair to, like, drag it along. I could have parked, oh, uh, this was designed for me to park a uh, truck under it and then drive the truck out to the ocean. It's kind of too late now. Um... No, it's much too late. I just have to now drive the truck into the, the safe, and that'll do it. I got this. Alright, so we just load the mission. I park the truck. I drive the truck into the ocean. Bing bada boom, bida bing bop boom. Done.
So we just drive the truck under the uh, the safe and we drive into the ocean. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boo. Das ist gut. Das ist gut. Das, das ist gut. One strong safe chat. That is a strong safe. So here's what we gotta do. Let me tell you what we gotta. Oh. My, my quick save is gone. Why? Well, I didn't. I know I restarted by accident, but I thought maybe it would be okay because then I could load the quick save. Bomb. You can just boat across this time. All right, I will. I'm going to SpongeBob boat across. Has Vinny made a break it down for me joke yet? Surprisingly not. The only reason some memes like just disappear after a while is because I forget they exist. Vinny used the scroll wheel? Oh yeah, the scroll wheel does do stuff. Okay, I got it this time, chat. So I'm gonna use the boat now. Fire alarm's gonna go off? Oh, it's an outdoor fire alarm? Oh yeah, you're right. Alpina, please. Interesting. That's how you get stuff done, chat. Well, 
Well, it's not done yet, but it will be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fork it. Man, this thing is really stubborn. Then he flip it end over end. I can't even. It's there's too much like stuff here now. I need the forklift to just uh, if I just break some of this stuff on the right, like the gate, then I can do it. Everything but the safe is going into the ocean. And this is the optional one. Hallelujah. I really, really like this game. I wonder if I can drive the big boat. Looks like it. Maybe. I don't think I can sink this boat with just my sledgehammer. I tried. I can. I see. I see it. It really is like Blast Core, like a spiritual successor or, you know, there's a little influence. It's its own game entirely too, and I, I love that about it, and the technology is incredible. This is a game I wanted, but I didn't know I wanted. Vinny, just FYI, you won't be able to afford upgrades if you don't find the loot to pay for it. I found some loot. So I believe the, um, the safe is in this building right here, right? Okay, so that's what happens to the frames. Well, we're not quite there just yet, chat. That was amazing. <laughs> that was amazing! Nolan directed this part. Yeah. We have to destroy evidence of this boat ever existing.
Wait, what did I just pick up? Lube? Oh, that wasn't really... This thing still drives, somehow. Someone in chat just said, this will be Minecraft in 2013. Ah, uh, yes, the future. I, too, look forward to the future. Check for loot. Nothing. Oh, walkie talkies for sixty dollars. Not a lot of stability there. Cash box. I wonder if there's, um... Maybe there's a can of beans in here. Maybe there's a, a toilet pistol. Some water. Toilet pistol, yes. It's a seven days to die reference, chat. I want to see if I can take down this whole house. I don't think I'll be able to because I wasted my blowtorch. Why just look for loot? Why not also destroy the entire house? That's the way I see it. I just want to see how much damage you can actually just do with a sledgehammer and nothing else. Ooh, loot! I found loot. I found something. Antique cannonball for 250, chat. Under the stairs, confirmed. You can use that in your playthrough. Oh, there's still too much holding the house up. Getting nice and laggy. I think some of those pipes are also holding the house up. Resilient house. Well, let's collect the rest of the valuables and leave. If there are any more. The attic has valuables, says a chat member. Antique black gunpowder worth or uh maybe gunpowder i'm not sure but four hundred dollars four hundred quid that's a lot take apart the other big house trust me there's a lot of good stuff which other big house this this one because i was in here before 
any greenhouse. All right, we'll go into the greenhouse. I'll just try. Yeah, I'll try that and then I'll end the mission. But this game is like really addictive. Even just like searching for stuff and exploring, it's fun. I wonder if they like hide stuff under the floorboards. Bathroom valuables. I think I kind of got everything in this house. Missed one between the bathrooms. Ah, very nice. 450 Antique Pirate Sword. Thinny in the couch? No. There's nothing in the couch. Danny DeVito is in the couch. I don't even see a couch. Alright, we're good. Let's just... Sunday stream is, is coming to an end. Even though this is, like, not entirely Sunday stream insanity. I like games like this every now and then for Sunday stream. Sometimes it's nice to be able to play a good game. But, um, yeah, I'll almost certainly be coming back to this. Someone said couch is upstairs. Okay. I have to find out now, because if chat is right, that would be good. Ooh. Pirate hook. Chat, antique pirate hook under the stairs. Behind the library, pirate dagger worth 400. The only thing that's not here is a cat. Ouch. No valuables. It's okay, I wouldn't have found that other stuff had I not gone back. That was some very, very good stuff. There's tons of valuable hidden stuff like that in every major level. Cool. That was great. It's not just blow up everything as I thought it was, or destroy everything. There's more to it than that. just don't like using doors, what can I say? Shotgun. Because why not? So you can upgrade uh, various aspects of the shotgun. Can upgrade the sledge. No, it looks like the only thing that can be upgraded right now is the blowtorch. A little bit more of that. I'm going to get more rounds. More rounds. More damage. More damage. More rounds. More rounds. Range. More rounds. More rounds. More rounds. Almost a fully upgraded shotgun. Low torch is, is definitely worth upgrading. I believe it. Is there a way to back out of this menu? Uh, 
All oh, right. The mystery show. The ghost cabin. What's this? The four ocean cabins at the West Point Marina. Popular holiday resort since many years. But according to the harbor master, Jim Daglish, there used to be five cabins. <laughs> we searched through all available records, but have no proof of a fifth cabin. Without evidence, the rumors still persist of a ghost cabin. Next week, art or remnants from the afterlife. It's good. Chat is saying DMC2. That's how you do it. That's how you play DMC2. Fantastic work at the marina. Looks like it worked because they're, they just cleared a construction permit for the new dock. Another thing came up. There's this classic car auction. The Black River the other day, and a guy kept overbidding me. Lawrence Lee Jr., youngster inherited the chemical plant a few years ago. No, no interest in cars, just looking for ways to rotate his dirty money. It's Goss Seidel B-50, the one they used and sealed the deal too. And Colonel Wilson's personal Jacoby from Normandy. He's about to put those cars in a ship overseas any day now, and they'll be out of the country for good. If that's not criminal, I don't know what is. Can you help me acquire these two gems? I'll take good care of them. Um... I don't think I want to do a mission right now. It's too late, so... I would like to, but it's just too late. Stream is just about over. I also have Super Liminal for a future stream, which came out on Steam finally. <laughs> There's a sandbox mode with infinite ammo. You can create, too. Castle level. Custom level provided with source files. You play this mode, the same tools you've unlocked in the campaign. Lag Island incoming. Oof. There's an interconnected system of trees. I don't even know what's keeping them up anymore, chat. Oh, this. There it goes. Oh, 
Let's see how the fire is going. This is, um, I believe, Edoras from Lord of the Rings. Some, yeah, some good fires. Good fires, definitely good fires. The devs are taking suggestions on the Steam forums for more games they can make in this engine. Um... They could do Ace of Spades type gameplay, but better. Like, take it to the next level. Which is to say, like, um... A squad-based shooter. Noita 3D. Sure. Do something like that. I mean, I say that as if it's easy. I have no idea, but... Castle raiding. Yeah, like, one team protects a castle, the other team has to, like, you know, use destruction and tools and planning to get in the castle and steal the treasure. A dungeon crawler? Sure, a dungeon crawler would be great in this. Yeah, this is awesome. This, uh, definitely gonna stream more of this. You, you can pulp everything.